All right, so I recently saw a instructor on social media doing a training video explaining how to do a power off 180. This is a great maneuver for people to learn, but by teaching the power off 180, you're alienating the single fastest growing population of pilots in the aviation community. Of course, I'm talking about serious pilots like myself. So um, the power off 180 is great if you're not flying a serious, but for the serious pilots out there today, I want to demonstrate the power off straight in. All right, so here we are, we're airborne now. And I'm lined up for final, even though the airport's 200 miles away. Uh, that's the first thing I do when I take off, is try to get lined up for final. I say, uh, wheels up, line up. So I'm headed for final for my destination airport, even though it's 200 miles away. Uh, what I always say is, turning costs money. It's fine to go zigzagging through the sky if you fly a Cessna, a pipe, or a cub, whatever. You're burning av gas or mo gas or whatever you burn. But you got to remember, Sears, Sears is powered by a mother's love for her only child. That ain't cheap. Um, so we want to get lined up for our destination airport as soon as possible. All right, so let's get started. Um, right now I'm at uh, 530, 6,500 feet. So why are we wanting to do this power off maneuver anyway? We're simulating loss of an engine and what you're gonna do to get the airplane safely to the ground. And I've come up with a simple eight step process that's guaranteed to get you down as safely as possible in your Cirrus aircraft. All right, so I'm gonna pull the power now. All right, so you've just lost your engine. What's the first thing you wanna do? That's right, you want to call your insurance agent. You got a Bluetooth headset, this is the time to use it. So uh, I'm going to get my agent on the line right now. Alright, so that was C, called our insurance agent. The next one is R, reaction time. A lot of instructors teach that there's a three to five second reaction time. I like to do a two to five minute reaction time because probability is very high. I'm going to be distracted or fixated by something else in the aircraft, and I'm not going to notice that there was a problem. So uh, find something to do for a few minutes just to simulate the reaction time that you would have in your series if something did go wrong before you were aware that there was an issue. So that brings us to A. A is add power. I'm still 186 miles away from the airport. There's no way I can make it. I've got to add power. It'd be silly not to. So uh, what we do is we're going to go ahead and increase the power. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll bring it back out when we get uh, closer to a realistic landing scenario. So that's, that's your power. That's what your power is there for. Next one, Z. Now, Z is for Zoloft. This is a highly stressful situation, and scientists will tell you you've got to have something to take the edge off. It's the only way. I like to use the big children's chewable Zoloft because they're crunchy in the cage code. So uh, just crunch on a couple of those. Five or ten minutes, you're going to feel great. That's really the best thing to do. Probably should have made that the first step. All right, guys, why? Why is for yoke? I tried to come up with an eight-step system where we didn't have to actually physically manipulate the controls in any way. The fact of the matter is it can't be done. You're going to have to touch the thing. So grab the POH or whatever, figure out what you got to do to get that uh, to, to manipulate the aircraft onto the ground. Um, it may probably still have fresh plastic you got to take off of it if you've never used it before, but uh, they're going to have to use it. All right, the next letter is A. Um, so basically at this point, You've done everything you need to do and you got a little bit of time. You want to ask if anyone else on the aircraft happens to be a pilot. So you want to... And if there's not, you're probably going to have to do this yourself. It's a very stressful situation. All right, next to the last step is S. Switch seats. If I'm flying from this side of the plane, I'm not the pilot. No matter what happened, I'm not in charge. I'm not responsible for anything. When you land, if someone gives you some um, attitude about doing something wrong or whatever, hey, look, I'm a passenger. This is one of those new Uber drones. Or uh, my pilot fell out. This stuff happens all the time. So uh, I just uh, press the land the plane button or something. The last step is S. S is for scotch. Scotch because you deserve it. This has been rough. It also takes the edge off the Zoloft. Well done, pilot. So anyway, I hope that helps. That's the power off straight in. That's going to help Cirrus pilots, and uh, I think more instructors probably start seeing teaching more maneuvers that are Cirrus specific. Um, i got about a 12-part series I'm working on where we're going to cover uh, slow flight, uh, uh, not-so-steep turn. A lot of people teach uh, the impossible turn. I'm going to teach the highly possible turn. Um, turns around a point. I got all, all the basic maneuvers, but they're serious specific for the
those of us in the ever-growing Sirius Pilot community. So uh, look for more videos coming from me, and uh, uh, like and subscribe if you like or want to subscribe.